Hey, what's up guys? Just wanted to show you some seedlings I picked up from my buddy Tyler from Heavenly Palms uh, here in Vancouver, British Columbia. Uh, they are, the majority of them are crosses of Trachycarpus. Um, and I also picked up a Trachycarpus princeps, which are uh, pretty difficult to get around these parts. I find the majority of princeps are available in Europe for some reason, but not here in North America. Anyways, he picked up some seed from uh, Gary at coldplant.com in China and grew out some seedlings. And this is a seedling of Trachycarpus princeps. And as many of you know, Trachycarpus princeps are renowned for their beautiful white silver undersides to the fronds. And in some cases, they even have uh, the white sheen on top of the fronds. So it makes a very beautiful palm tree. And uh, the seeds are difficult to get uh, for the reason that um, the majority of them come from a location in China called Stonegate. And Stonegate's like a sheer cliff with these palms growing um, up the cliff side. And... Um, you know, the palm is 20 to 30 feet high and the cliff makes it really difficult to collect seeds. So every year, Gary from Cold Plant tries to harvest seed from that location, but this year they were unsuccessful. So it's pretty difficult to get a Tricarpus princep seed. So I'm pretty stoked to have um, a seedling, let alone seed from this palm. So as you can see, this is just germinated not too long ago. Um, I also have some really cool hybrids of uh, Trachycarpus and Princeps. This one's a Trachycarpus Fortunae crossed with a Princeps. So the Fortunae is the mom, the Princeps is the dad or the uh, pollen or the male. <laughs> so this is a uh, interesting hybrid, should, should uh, hopefully show some traits of Princeps in it uh, with the white undersides. Be interesting to grow that one out. This one here is a Trachycarpus wagnerianus and princeps. Wagnerianus are, uh, they have a different frond structure than regular Fortunae, more compact, more rigid, and they tend to grow a little slower and maybe stay a little bit smaller in the long run. So this is a, uh, a hybrid of Wagnerianus and princeps, so hopefully we'll show some princeps uh, traits in that as well. Again, the princeps was the male in the uh, pollination. And then over here, I got a Trachycarpus wagnerianus times nanus, crossed with a nanus. So um, this guy, na Trachycarpus nanus is like a dwarf Trachycarpus. So it grows, doesn't grow much taller than, uh, well, three to four feet till it starts sending out flowers. So it tends to have a bit of a subterranean trunk. It grows similar to what a Savile, Savile Minor type palm would grow like. So this is crossed with Wagnerianus, so it should have the stiff fronds of the Wagnerianus and hopefully this small compact size of a Nanus. And Nanus tend to have a bit of uh, silver white sheen on the undersides of their fronds as well. So it should be a pretty good looking palm. Anyways, pretty excited about these seedlings. I'm going to show some uh, pictures of adult versions of some of these palms and then uh, young versions of the crosses because no one's actually grown these out to adult size yet. So it's a bit of an experiment. Uh, the seeds were collected from... Uh, Victor Silver in the UK. He was uh, the one who cross-pollinated these palm species. And again, my buddy Tyler from Heavenly Palms here in Vancouver uh, grew them out and, um, and sold them to me. And I'm gonna, I'm looking forward to seeing what they turn out to be. It. Anyways, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.